All right, so in this video, we're gonna cover two things. One, how to unclog your hot end on a 3D printer, and two, how to replace the hot end on a Creality CR10 V2. Because if you're like me, you tried to remove a clog and you ended up actually just breaking everything. So um, this video um, will just cover all the basics and at the end, I'll cover some of the science about how this stuff works. So for unclogging your hot end, you're gonna want the wrenches that came with the printer and a six millimeter socket wrench. Um, and then you're gonna want to move your Z axis up a little bit just so you can get a better angle um, on your hot end. Then just remove the rubber sock that's on the hot end. Um, it should be cool at this point, so it shouldn't be hot, but I'm still gonna be safe and just use a screwdriver here, pull that off, it's a bit easier. A pair of pliers will work as well. If you haven't done so already, um, preheat your hot end, and so I have PLA in there, so I'm actually gonna preheat this, remove my PLA, and then I'm gonna remove the hot end. So what's extra fun for me is my filament got brittle and broke off, so it's kind of stuck in here. So I'm gonna have to remove the tube here with the quick disconnect right there, and then re remove my filament that way. But the uh, hot end is hot, so it's good to remove. So I'm gonna remove all this, pull out the quick disconnect, so I just push in, and then I pull the tube out, and then I'm just gonna pull my filament out gently because it is very brittle right now, because I left it sitting there. And now that the filament's out, I'm going to remove the clog. So I'm gonna remove my filament tubing. So just remove this quick disconnect here. Let's remove that tab. Press down and pull the tube out. Now that the tubing is out, we're gonna use the socket wrench and the wrench that came with it just to hold that in place. And from, from this direction, you can see I'm going clockwise with this to unscrew it from the bottom. Um, if you try to go the opposite way, um, you're not gonna be very successful and you're probably gonna move the hot end and probably tear the wires up um, and damage and destroy your hot end. So you can see the clog that was here. I'm gonna pull that out. Um, if it doesn't come out easily, I'm gonna use a blowtorch. Just hold it with a pair of pliers. You know, of course, wear proper safety gear when doing that, and then just pull the plastic out once it's warm. So if you're doing the blowtorch method um, and that hot end is warm, you can use the little tool that came with your 3D printer. It actually fits through that hot end and you can actually push the clog out while it's hot. Um, I'm also doing that here um, within the other piece of the hot end just to make sure there's no clogs. So as a quick PSA, um, this is the hot end view from the bottom. Um, you don't want the hot end to spin or turn whenever you're taking things on or off um, because the wires can snap off. And once you're done fixing everything, just put everything back together the way you found it and um, you know, charge your 3D printer back up with plastic. Um, I have another good video, I'll put a link here, um, just to kind of show you how to do all those steps. All right, so how to replace your hot end on the Creality CR10 V2. Well, what I've done is I went to Amazon, uh, purchased a Creality official all metal hot end. I'll put a link in the description below and uh, comes fully assembled, ready to install on your 3D printer. To install the hot end, all we need to do is disassemble our old broken hot end. Uh, so we'll need an Allen wrench set or hex headset in order to do that. And then once that's complete, we just 
plug it in to a control board spot that's behind this shield right here. So this is your all metal hot end. It's usually in a plastic shield. I use the hex head screw set to take that off. And there's two fans associated with that as well. And they're just gonna hang out here while we replace this. All right, so we wanna remove this metal shield here. So we're gonna unplug everything that surrounds it. And there's three hex head screws that need to come out to remove this plate. And once that shield is removed, you'll see all the wires that connect to your hot end. This is the microcontroller that connects to your motherboard, of course. And you'll see your heating block wires there to get your hot end hot, and also your thermistor, your temperature control wires as well. You'll want to remove the zip ties that keep it in place, and then remove both sets of wires that connect to your hot end. So at this point, we want to fish out the old wires um, and we will have to remove some more zip ties that are holding things together. Um, once you removed everything that's old, we just want to install the new hot end and I wanna make sure that it's in this protective sheath uh, going to the microcontroller. So as I thread this through, let's look at what a thermocouple is. Basically, it has a thermistor or a uh, heat sensitive resistor that's measuring temperature. That's uh, sending the signal to your microcontroller and your motherboard to control the heater cartridge, which is heating up the end of your hot end there. And that's where you want all of your heat, right? So you have that heat sink on top because you want your plastic to stay cool as it comes in and get really hot and melt as it comes out. And then you also have two fans, of course. Um, one is for your hot end itself to keep it at the right temperature, and the other is to cool your plastic as it melts, and it gives it uh, better properties, uh, better strength as you extrude that thermoplastic. Once everything is plugged in on that microcontroller, I'm gonna get two zip ties and loosely put them here on the wires just to let them hang out and I'll tighten them up after we have everything installed again. So for the last steps, uh, we're gonna take the hot end and place it in this plastic housing. Um, it just fits in there and you'll see it kinda just sits around it and the wires will pop out of the back side of this housing and then we can put the screws back in this housing to put it back together. So the housing just clicks together and then you can put in the um, heater block fan here and it has four screws that holds it in and then there's a few screws that go in the back side that tighten up the housing onto the hot end. Also be sure to put on the extruder fan. That'll go on the other side and that's what keeps your plastic cooling as it's extruded out of the hot end.
So to hang up the hot end, um, there's three screws that go in the back here, two small ones and a one longer one. Um, I started with the long one just to hold it in place and then I put the two smaller ones in. Um, be sure that the wiring is set correctly in the back. Um, it should be flush with the back face plate that hangs out on that Z axis there. Lastly, just make sure that your filament feeding tube is put into the hot end with the quick connect. Make sure you have good wire management up top. Uh, make sure all your zip ties are tight. Cut everything off, put everything back together, and then you're ready to go. Start this thing up and do some bed leveling, and then of course, charge up filament into your hot end to make sure that everything's working. So that is a quick overview on replacing a hot end on the CR2. Overall, pretty straightforward. Um, just need all the tools that came with it or a good set of Allen wrenches and um, you're good to go. If you found this video helpful, um, please like and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, um, stick them in the comments below. Thanks guys.